Goedemiddag, good afternoon. Um, ok, so this is going to be a quick demo on some of the things we covered during our training session um, when we facilitated on the use of iPad and Android uh, devices. And I think ultimately, um, when our staff members uh, come to training, uh, we like to promote the use of mobile devices within teaching and learning. But when a staff member walks in, um, you s the idea behind them attending the training is more to to the effect where they would want to know how to use the, the, the device uh, in their personal capacity. Which makes sense because obviously you need to learn how to, see you guys smiling, you need to know how to, to use the device in your personal capacity before you can use it at work, am I right? Yes. And what happens is I buy a 7,000 Rand device, iPad or 5,000 Rand device, tablet, and I leave it at home because my kiddies need to play games on it or I can use it as a, as a, as a doorstop or whatever. So during our training, we cover things like how to make use of the device, okay? How to, to, how to do recordings, how to copy and paste um, paper, uh, documents directly from a, a Windows-based based machine or uh, a Windows machine to an iPad or an Android device. And we find most of our staff members that, that actually uses an iPad device, they struggle the most because they don't have a, a Mac operating system running on a, 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 on a laptop or even a, 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 a desktop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly what we do during our training session. We tend to use the out-of-box approach. So we actually give you one of these to, to play with, uh, not to take home. And then we remove it from the box, start it up, and then plug it into one of the pieces that's, one, uh, that's uh, situated in one of our labs. Okay? So just with a show of hands, how many of you actually use a, an iPad device? Two, three people. Okay. You know what's the first question staff members ask when they walk into training? I'll just switch it off. No. <laughs> Which one is better? <laughs> should I buy an iPad or should I buy a tablet device? And in my or should UWC supply us with Ach, no, they never ask that. <laughs> no. They never ask that. <laughs> okay? So we find that some of our staff members actually come to training or both systems, the iPad training as well as the tablet, uh, tablet training, to actually find out which device can I actually use or which one will, will, will be easier to utilize when I purchase one. All right? Because obviously, you walk into a shop, you see an iPad, 7,000, 9,000 Rand, and then you see a tablet device or an Android device, which is four, 5,000 Rand. So human nature, it costs more, so it must be better. Isn't that what we always say? Right? Not always the case, okay? And with regards to the device, when it comes to deciding on which device to use, as an individual, you decide, mm -hmm. all right? So my request to you is, if you're planning on buying one of these, attend the training. We give you an hour to play with the device. When you leave, you make up your mind. Then you decide, do I want an iPad or do I want to make use of a Android device? Okay, so why did I choose to start with an iPad first? Because believe it or not, making use of an iPad, it's fairly easy, okay? We don't necessarily show you how to use an iPad, this is a button, that type of thing. We cover, as an introduction, we do the, the volume button, that type of thing. But ultimately, it's synchronizing your iPad device with your computer your, or your PC, which is Windows-based, which always tends to be a problem, all right? Now, for the iPad users, you've seen this many times before. You plug your device into to your PC, and then what's the first thing you do? Because you plan on copying and pasting documents from your PC to your iPad. The first thing you do is open up what? Which program? iTunes, am I right? But we find that most of our staff members, they struggle to use iTunes. So the idea was then to find a package that's gonna make it so much easier for you as an individual to copy and paste like you would copy and paste on a, uh, uh, on a PC from, from file to file or document, a document from file to file directly onto an iPad device. All right? That's when we discovered the use of iFunbox. Okay? And what iFunbox does is it basically simulates iTunes but in a Windows-based version. Okay? All right? So in other words, you don't have to import documents into your iPad. You can actually just copy and paste it. All right? Now, we installed this yesterday, so let's hope it actually runs today. You know what happens? The gremlins usually attack the, 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 the computers overnight. So I'm going to click on iFunbox. All right, classic view. And this is basically where I have my files 
shared. Now for individuals that's currently using an iPad device, you know when it comes to copy and pasting anything onto an iPad, you need to use iTunes, all right? If you don't have iTunes, you're probably using a Mac, Mac operated uh, machine, all right? Now, the software we use, to, or we use or to, to, the software to be used on an iPad device, we make use of iFile Express. Anything you copy into iFile Express over here, whether it be pictures, all right, movies, documents, or anything else, anything you make available in these folders automatically becomes available here. And the easy way to do it is, I'm just hoping this PC is going to allow me, you can actually just go to copy from PC to import a, a, a document to my iPad, or I can just drag and drop, and the system will automatically do it for me, all right? Now, for the Android users, this is fairly easy, am I right? Because you can do this all the time. And as an added bonus, on an Android device, it comes pre-installed with, with an Office package. And unfortunately, iPad devices does not come with a package or a, a Office package pre-installed. But as an added bonus, when you install iFile Express, it actually allows you to read your documents. And as you can see, I have multiple docu documents available. PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, and so on, and so on, and so on. So those are the, type of, are the type of things that we show you during our training sessions. We also show you how to set up your Wi-Fi because we have free Wi-Fi available at the university. It means you can actually take your device absolutely anywhere in, on campus. Well, 95% of places on campus. <laughs> All right? And then you'll be able to access your email or anything that's online via your, your device. Lecturers got tired. They said, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of dragging my laptop with me everywhere I go. I bought this a laptop in 2005. It's as, as heavy as a desktop. But then I purchased a iPad or an Android device. All right? I would like to make use of this device. I want to copy documents directly onto this device and read whatever's on there. I want to copy some of my clips that I've captured on my cell phone. All right? We even show you how to do that, making use of Ubisoft, and you've heard this name before. We show you how to convert those videos and make, it, make those video, videos iPad friendly. And what I like about iPad and Android devices, when you, we show you how to use an iPad device or an Android device, okay, you can actually take those skills and practice it on your cell phone because an iPad is similar to an, an iPhone as well as an iPod. So whatever we teach you in those sessions on an iPad, you can actually make use of those skills on an iPhone as well as an iPod. All right? Likewise with an Android device. We might be using an, a Samsung device, but there's many devices out there that actually uses Android. Uh, I think LG is moving over, over to Android. There's a couple of them out there. So the skills you acquire in those sessions, you can actually utilize on your cell phone as well. Okay? Any questions? No questions? <laughs> Next training session, 23rd. Okay, it's on the 23rd of September, that's going to be our Android, and then the 26th will be our iPad sessions from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. The software we use, the software we use during our training session, we give you that, the software, all right, because we make use of freeware all the time, or most of the time, all right? Yes, ma'am. Our 23rd from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, that's Android training, and then 26th is from 2 to 4, that's, that'll be our iPad training. <laughs> we'll be sending it online as well. We'll be sending it online as well. Uh, okay, that's the history that I want to get this morning. We're offering a variety of tools. Um, don't delete every email, please. I know you're tired of us with We are offering the services to you, and uh, we hope you can just improve. And what do you see, Sid? It's not just about research. We all want to publish. But we, we are dealing with the nation that we have peace. That we are, our citizens of South Africa are also interested. So while, while you're doing things about your country, you're doing essential skills as well. And if you look at the IOT players now, I think all our departments and faculties, we have to now show how we are going for the 2014 plan, what we've done. Remember they came a few years ago? We have to have all our evidence again for the HQC. So uh, thank you, I think. This does show that you are thinking about the citizen of South Africa. And our students are unemployed. Um, some of these skills help them. I know some of the student assistants are coming to our area. I can tell you when uh, some of them have jobs outside now. They show 
what they did in, in the interns in our area, and they are, they are getting work. So we need to think about them as citizens as well. They need to uh, be employable. Thank you very much, and lunch will be served now, and thank you to the team. Most of all, thank you to the speakers. Without you, there's no way that we love you. And then to the audience for listening to your colleagues. And the next year, I'm thinking we can um, have sort of a mini conference and start inviting speakers from other universities. Not to show and tell, but I think we'd like to, let's say Sally identify somebody at UJ in the same field, and somebody that's doing vodkas could then invite one of her colleagues and because our sister institutions we contact with them all. There's no competition. We're all thinking about the citizens of South Africa here. So uh, we'll think about a mini conference next year.